Greek shells had a significant development during the 1970s in Germany. The design and construction of the Multihalle Mannheim in 1976 is one of the most emblematic Greek shells known to date. A group of renowned structural designers, led by Professor Fraiotto at the University of Stuttgart, managed to cover an up to 60 meters wide span with 20 centimeters maximum thickness. At that time, precise physical models made with hanging nets were unavoidable for the form finding process. During the 80s, I worked at the IL under Professor Fraiotto's guidance, where I proposed a new form finding process using analytical geometry and translation surfaces. I also developed the parametric program GEOG, which automatically generates a translation surface geometry with catenaries. Translation surfaces have important geometric properties that offer many advantages for the design and construction of grid shells. If the same mesh width in X and Y directions are selected, all bars will have a constant length. Four symmetric nodes of the translation surface are coplanar. Accordingly, each mesh is composed of planar quadrilaterals. Therefore, this property makes it easy to cover each mesh with flat glass or timber plates, among other possibilities. I also built a load test model at the Institute of Models Statics at the University of Stuttgart to demonstrate some of the previously described geometric properties of translation grid shells and its structural behavior under different load cases. I published the geometric properties of translation surfaces for the first time in my doctoral dissertation in 1982. The following text refers to four nodes coplanarity, a relevant geometric property that allows roofing translation grid shells with completely flat plates of different materials. Here I wrote, bars in the same axial direction always run parallel to each other. Four nodes lie always on one plane, defining each mesh. GEOC version 3.1 is a parametric program developed in C Sharp as a Windows desktop application. This update represents a substantial improvement and expansion to the original version, offering the user more significant visual support to identify each geometric parameter. The slide shows example process of generate two grid shells on the left side with a curvilinear plan using a circumference and a catenary, and on the right side a grid shell with a rectangular plan using a catenary and a nerve skewer. In this version, besides catenaries, the user can manage parabolas, circumference, or nerves as a base cure for each plane. Also, the surface can be defined with positive or negative Gaussian curvature. The slide shows four examples of geometry surface generated with GEOG. Now GEOG also offers the user to move the XY plane along the Z axis. The surface below the horizontal plane disappears. This expands the variety of plants that can be created. The design and construction of translation grid shells in Mexico started in 1983. The form finding process, design and geometry of all projects were realized and calculated with GEO. The following projects demonstrate the adaptability and versatility of translation surfaces applied to the form finding process, the design and the construction of grid shells. On the left side we can see a translation grid shell for a one family house in Mexico City, constructed in 1983. It covers an area of 36 square meters and it was built with straight timber roads covered with glass and timber plane plates. On the right side, 
We can see the translation grid shell at the Faculty of Architecture of the University of Mexico, built in 1988. It has a covered area of 285 square meters. It was built with continuous steel roads covered with glass. Now on the left side we can see the translation grid shell at the Auditorium for the Tribunal Federal Electoral, 1994. It has a covered area of 400 square meters. It was built with continuous steel roads covered with timber and reinforced concrete. On the right side, we can see a translation grid shell at the campus of the University of Mexico, built in 2011. The design is from Andres Casares and myself. It has a covered area of 200 square meters. It was built with continuous bamboo roads covered with a textile membrane. Geox target is to become a tool available to anybody interested in generating translation surface. The many forms achieved with Geox and the user's creativity allow exploring many alternatives before choosing the most suitable to be applied to the structural project. The development of Geog B3 and the kit of nuts and bars developed by the LSL Research Group comprises the first stage of a broader research project, whose objectives are to achieve the automation of the construction process of a translation grid shell.